I've been questioned a lot. And guys want to know how to develop a mouthpiece to learn how to talk to women where they can be more confident. But see, that's where it all start from, confidence. You want to have a certain amount of confidence where you know who you are, you know what direction you're heading in, and pretty much you're comfortable with being yourself. You know what I'm saying? So when you're going out and you meet people, you're not afraid to ask questions. You're not afraid to... Um, bump shoulders, rub shoulders, and just get to know people in general. But a lot of guys be considering the fact that they don't know how to talk to certain people as a um, as a weakness. But before we even get there, it's not considered a weakness because the fact that you don't be as talkative and stuff like that, you ought to be self-absorbed to a certain extent and make your attention be demanded. Therefore, when you go out to places and you see these other guys, you're so quick to be in people's faces and stuff, be reserved. Fall back. You'll find power in your absence by not being on front line like everybody else. All right, what's good with y'all boys, man? Back at y'all into the video. Now, before we hop into this topic, make sure you follow me on all my socials at Flex Lequay, And also make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. Links in the description. Now, that video that y'all just watched, bro, is very important because I'm glad I seen that on my For You page. It just resonated with me. It was a sign. It was like, look, say that video, make a video out of that. You know what I'm saying? Because OG spit a lot of game in it. And I'm going to break it down even more on a deeper level and also translate more of how it affects your game with women as well. Like I told y'all in the last video, bro, I'm not on Instagram right now and I'm not on Twitter right now. I'm still on TikTok, but I don't even really just scroll as much on TikTok. More importantly, bro, what this means is I'm in my own lane. I'm in my own zone. I'm not worried about the distractions of social media. I'm not caught up in the mix of the celebrity news. All this extra BS, I'm in my own lane. When I was younger, it was more so I was shy and I was timid, this, that, and the third. But now it was more so I'm just in my own world. You get what I'm saying? This may sound crazy, bro, but... I would much rather talk to myself than talk to a lot of people in my day-to-day -day life. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm at work, I don't really be talking to nobody but one of my coworkers. They be texting in the group chat, I don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm always to myself thinking about my own stuff, just always in my own world, bro. I live in my own world. This is my reality. This life that I live, this is my canvas. My mind is the paintbrush. So before we really just get into how this translates with women, we got to break this down on the surface level, bro. Over the past couple of days, all I've been doing is listening to Future. All I've been doing is listening to Future and watching his old interviews on YouTube. And if you really just listen to the game that Future be dropping in his interviews, bro, he ahead of his time. Forget the music, just him as a person. He ahead of his time, bro. Because he always puts emphasis on the fact that regardless of what he go through, he gonna accept everything that come with the music career. But most importantly, bro, he gonna stay true to himself and be himself. He always gonna be in his own lane. And that resonate deeply with me, bro, because regardless of what I may absorb, choosing this path that I'm on, I embrace it. Regardless of what anybody else saying, what anybody else got going on, I'm in my own lane, staying in my own path, going at my own pace. You get what I'm saying, bro? If you want a newsletter, I told you the importance of staying in your own lane because it ain't no traffic in it. If you ain't in the newsletter and you ain't received that email, subscribe down below in the description. It's very important because a lot of people get this misconstrued. So it's very important to be able to have this down packed the right way. Because a lot of dudes, how I said previously about me, most people have their quietness and their introvertedness because it be out of insecurity and lack of confidence. But when you discover who you truly are, bro, and you start building up that internal love for yourself, and you start accepting yourself as you are, and really just being in tune with the most authentic version of yourself, bro, you awaken that power within you. You awaken that God within you because you are learning who you truly are and embracing that so you realize that i've had a lot of power the entire time i was just scared to tap into it because of societal norms or because of what the next person had going on but it ain't nothing wrong with being quiet being laid back being introverted because now we finna tap into how it translates with women because when you are introvert but you have that confidence and that charisma you naturally come women naturally think of you as what is what is it about him you know what I'm saying? Why is he so quiet? What is he thinking about? Who does who is he talking to? Women just when you are an attractive guy, you know what I'm saying? Women laying their eyes on you, but you laid back, you out the mix. Women naturally just get curious. Naturally. You get what I'm saying? So they gonna see you choosing signals. They might be liking your pictures. Certain girls might be looking at you all the time in your daily life, and you might just be completely in your zone, not even focused on these women. But that's how it worked, bro. That's how it worked. When you so focused on yourself, when you so deep in your own bag and in your own grind, 
the women, they see that stuff, bro. They see it naturally. It just got to happen like that. Because I'm telling you, bro, when you got that tunnel vision, you self-absorbed in yourself, only focused on the path that you want and how you can reach the destination that you're trying to reach, bro, you're going to pick up a lot of skills along the way. Because throughout this entire process, you, you should be soaking up game, applying game, learning information. You get what I'm saying? Applying the new information that you're learning, getting in the field and getting experience. Because it's always going to be that archetype of this specific type of dude who the outgoing, carries, overly charismatic, you know what I'm saying, loud, always in the mix. It's always going to be somebody that's that type of dude. But that ain't me, and that ain't some of y'all, so you don't have to force that act, bro. People see right through it when you're trying to be a certain person, but that's not really you. People see through that. If you the laid back dude, bro, be that. Embrace that. Embrace being laid back. Embrace being on your own world. Because now you're going to attract the people who resonate with you, bro. When you being fake, trying to act like somebody else so you can be approved by the hoes or you can be approved by a certain group of dudes, man, that's fake. They're going to see right through it. And more importantly, they're going to call you out on your BS. But people respect you way more when it's like you reserve you in your own zone. But you respect yourself. You stand up for yourself. You still can ask questions. You get what I'm saying? You're not a freaking coward. You just to yourself. You still got that confidence. You still got that charisma. It's just in your bag. You ain't overly displaying it. It's just in your bag. People got to discover that. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm a quiet person. I'm chill. I'm always in my own zone. But once you have a conversation with me, bro, and I really expand and share my mind with you, I'm going to blow your mind. Facts. I always had that belief system about myself because I understand that I'm divine. I know I'm one of a kind, but I don't give everybody access to this side of me. That's how y'all gotta be, bro. Because silence is a superpower. You don't never wanna be the type of dude that talk too much. You talk about all your goals. You talk about all the money you make. You talk about all the women you got. None of that is doing anything for you, bro. Being a bragging and boastful type of dude, none of that is doing nothing for you. Women love it when you a mysterious dude. You got stuff going for yourself, but she still can't figure you out. You got women lingering in your ear, but she still can't figure you out. You get what I'm saying? You constantly improving, but you ain't posting nothing on social media. You see what I'm saying? That's what women love. They can't figure you out, man. So it's a constant thrill. It's a constant challenge. Now she got to keep chasing you. But you so focused, it's like, I don't even really want to give you the time of day for real. Because when you understand your value, bro, you ain't applying pressure to these women no more. You're just not. When you know your value, you know your purpose, and you in your own lane, following your purpose, Dedicating your life to your purpose, getting the results, improving on a daily basis. Your power increases, your value increases. So you know your worth now. What am I doing chasing her all day? What am I doing liking all her pictures, sliding in her DM, doing all this extra stuff when she ain't giving me no choosing signals? Why am I going out my way to try to get this girl to like me when I could just enjoy the ride, stay focused, and I'm gonna naturally attract women who already showing me that they like me. Because the mysterious but confident combo is undefeated with the women. Because they are, y'all know, bro, these women always got these preconceived notions about you. When you acquire a dude, she naturally gonna have these expectations about you, but you ain't saying nothing. You get what I'm saying? Girls might be finding you attractive, this, that, and the third, but you so quiet, they may think that you scared. You so quiet, they may think that you gonna do this or you gonna do that, or you act this way, or you talk like this. But then when she really get in your presence, for one, your presence is already gonna be felt. You get what I'm saying? People got to earn your time. People got to earn the conversation out of you. You get what I'm saying? These women got to earn your validation because you move different, because you are different, because you tapped in with who you truly are. You don't give away free energy. You don't give away free attention. You don't give away free game, whatever the case may be. It got to be earned. And that's power. It's power in that, bro, because we can forget the women. It's power in that, dude. When you move like this as a man in everyday life, you're going to glow different. You're going to move different. You're going to walk with your head high, your shoulders back. You're going to have a certain swag in your walk. You're going to have a certain swag in your talk. You're going to have a certain charisma and aura in your look. You feel me? Life's just going to hit different because you tapped in, bro. It's all about being tapped in. Certain times you got to delete all the apps. You got to deactivate this. You got to cut these people off so you can just lock in and tap in to your real power. Because a lot of y'all ain't tapped into y'all real power. A lot of y'all still scared. A lot of y'all still distracted. A lot of y'all still trying to be like people that you don't need to be trying to be like. You get what I'm saying? You ain't not. You shouldn't be in competition with nobody but yourself. You shouldn't be trying to be like nobody but the best version of yourself. You shouldn't be trying to impress hoes, impress other niggas for no reason. You get what I'm saying? You should be trying to impress yourself. Your future self should be proud of what you're doing right now. Your old self should be proud of who you became. Real talk. 
Because women, they ain't got to know all this about you, bro. They don't have to know your backstory, none of that. But when they see you, they in your presence, they stuck. When they have a simple conversation with you, they stuck. Because you already know the game. The game lingered in your head at all times. You know what I'm saying? It's like a book. But you just in your own lane. Nothing better than loving yourself, being able to vibe by yourself. Laid back, chill, in your own world, drama free, out the mix. It ain't nothing better than that. Because you got all the time in the world to focus on whatever you want to focus on. And when you a disciplined individual like I'm teaching y'all to be, and how y'all teaching y'all to be, the world is yours, bro. The world is yours, bro. When you got the discipline, first things first. The women, they gonna come and they gonna follow your lead. Simple as that. Women love mysterious dudes, bro. You should never let a woman figure you out. You should never let a woman know everything about you. But you should always be confident in yourself, regardless if you lay back and introverted. You should still be confident in yourself. You should still love yourself. You should still face your demons and your insecurities and heal yourself. Real talk, bro. This red pill stuff get deep. You know what I'm saying? So when you really tap into that power that's within you and embrace who you are, bro, the women ain't gonna see that. They gonna flock automatically, bro. Y'all are already watching the videos, learning the game. So it's like, once these women start choosing on you and, and accepting you as you are, bro, you already know what to do. It's just a matter of if you're going to do it. This stuff don't happen overnight, bro. This stuff do not happen overnight. You got to really make sacrifices and put in that work so you can become the person that you want to become and attract the thing that you want to attract. It's as simple as that, bro. You ain't finna get nothing without sacrificing. I just told y'all, bro. I'm in my own lane right now. I ain't on social media like that. Y'all still finna be seeing me on YouTube and TikTok making my videos because I'm here for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for y'all. I'm here to provide game, provide value at the end of the day. But I'm in my own zone right now. Soaking up game, bro. Being true to myself. Being true to my calling. So how can you translate this into your own life? Somebody that's quiet all the time. Somebody that's introverted, that's always in their head or always in their own zone, in their own world. How can you embrace your confidence? How can you embrace that aspect of yourself? How can you embrace that and make that become you? And use that as a superpower. Use that to stand out from other dudes. Use that to be mysterious, but also use that to build your confidence up. You get what I'm saying? Because it's nothing better than loving yourself and being yourself 100%. It ain't nothing better than that, bro. Because you can you can move around guilt free. You get what I'm saying? You accept everything that come with who you are as a person. Because you chose to be this way, unapologetically. So when you do this, you become a god. When you watch my channel, I'm teaching you how to become a god. I'm telling y'all things firsthand from my experience. You ain't gonna find nobody more introverted than me. You ain't gonna find nobody more in their zone than me. You get what I'm saying? So take it from somebody who's speaking from experience. But you ain't gonna find nobody more confident than me either. I might be the most quiet person in the room, but I'm still the most. I'm gonna. I might be the most quiet person in the room, but I'm still the most confident. Real talk. I might not be saying nothing, but I'm already three, four, five steps ahead. You know what I'm saying? That's how I want y'all to be, bro. And if you put in the work, stay true to yourself, forget about these hoes, forget about these fake ass niggas. And when you stay true to yourself, God gonna bless you no matter what. You don't need nobody in this lifetime because at the end of the day, bro, when you close your eyes, when you in that casket, you all you got. So why would you not? So why would you go through life not loving yourself, not being yourself? being scared etc you know what i'm saying tap into that power that's within you bro that's the only thing that's the only option you got simple if y'all enjoyed this video man make sure you like comment subscribe and i'm out